Hello there, I'm Kimfoni, and in this video I'll be showing you how to do rolling end credits in Unity using just the Unity UIs and an animation. I've seen a whole lot of videos, people just use, um, trying to use coroutines as uh, timer stuff like that, but end credits should be really simple, that's what it is. I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, first of all, I'll just go to your main camera, change it from perspective to orthographic, and let's go ahead and add a UI image. Okay, it's right there. Select the image. I'm gonna name this background. Okay, and I'll just change the color to black. Black background, it's really nice. Okay, so I'll scale that up and move it in place. Scale that up a bit. All right. See, I'm I'm not using the correct resolution. I'm I planned on building for web right now. This is 9, 960 by 600. So if you extend the screen in, this using resolution, if it's lower than this, then that means you're using a lower resolution. Just keep extending this, you see? This full resolution, we need to uh, scale the image up a whole lot more, okay? So as long as it fills the screen, then we're good. What we need to do next is right click on your canvas, um, UI, we'll start creating text for this. I'll go ahead and change the text color to white. Good. All right, I'll just name this. I actually made a text file here, a few stuff I plan on putting in. So credits, let's copy that, paste it here, and you could increase the font size. And if it, uh, the font appears, to, uh, if the font just disappears, you could increase the width and the height, stuff like that. And it should pop up, there we go. Alright, so we have the credits, uh, it's centered on the x-axis, that's good. I'll move it in place here, I'll just put it up here for right now. Okay, so we have the text in Control d to duplicate that. I'll just name this credits. You could go ahead and name all this so it's easier to remember. This one is... Okay, so this is like the U that's like programming before the name of the person. I'll make that smaller. Let's say 20. Maybe 25. And then I'll just slide that down a bit. Uh, maybe I'll try to center it here. Let's see. Okay, that's good. For the credits, you might also make it bold. I think it's, yeah. That's good. Make this 30. It's 30 working. 28. No. 28. Increase the width. Okay. Alright, that's looking good. It's a really tedious process, but you'll, we'll get there. I'll just do a few here, too. So, I'll grab the name here. Put the name in. V. So I'll just uh, name this H2 and the actual person's name, okay, and I'll slide that down, alright, actually I'll make this all caps, increase the width again. Credits. Slide that in. All right, so that's that's like the basic process, and you could always select this too in Control D to duplicate in. So repeat the process. We'll just do a few here, about three. I'll pause for now and just go ahead and do the same thing, or I'll just let it run. <clears throat> okay, so arts and graphics, copy. Uh, Alright, so the name was copy, paste, select both of them and slide them down. I mean, if you want it to look perfect, you could always uh, play with the position here and 
maybe multiply it by two or three, whatever you want to do. But I'll just eyeball it here and just let you do it. Okay, arts and graphics. Remove that. That's good. All right, so that's just how you do it. I'll go ahead and do a few more, then we'll be back at it. All right, so I'm done putting in the names. This still look a mess right now, but yeah, this this is exactly uh, what you would want your end credits to look like okay and uh, so what we really need to do right now is create a con container for all these credits here so under the canvas just right click and create empty it's gonna create an empty game object here I'm gonna name this um, credits scroller and I'll select all the credits and make it a child of that uh, credit scroller so we just have this and we could move this around okay so that's what it's gonna look like and that's this is exactly where, where we're gonna add the animation okay so like this is exactly what the animation is gonna look like and uh, something like that I mean I could definitely yeah, position this better or used better fonts and okay I wanted to show you something under this 3d models here I should have named this. Let's see this one. Okay. I actually had two names here, but since I didn't have enough height here, they didn't both fit. So I'll just extend the height. You see? We now have Haley Matt down there. I'll just move it down a bit. And all this. I won't worry about that. <sighs> okay. So back to credit scroller. I'll bring it down here uh, actually I'll just take it out of the screen here and then I'll add a component it's the uh, most important component here because this is actual animation or animator here and you'll go to window and select animation or control 6 okay this is an animation window and we'll hit create for it to create an animation controller for this I'll just name this uh, credits in him okay that's it and it's automatically added the controller to our animator here so all we have to do is hit record here and I'll play with these values a little bit so it's it's just gonna leave a keyframe there all right it's left a keyframe let's say in one minute we want this credits to be done oh you could see the game window here we want this credits to be out of the window that's it's done so as we did that uh, since we're still on record it's um, it has just put these values in here and it has left a keyframe All right so once you're done hit the record button to save the changes and that's it we'll just hit play and see your work Oh, okay, <laughs> that was way too fast. Uh, so what you have to do is you could reduce the sample to some like 10 and hit play. It's slower, still fast. You could bring it down to maybe 3. And yeah, that's that's what you, that's what your rolling end credits would look like. Okay, you can always play with the samples if you want it to be slower or extend the keyframes time. But that's exactly how to make end credits. And alright, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Thank you. Bye.